like 7.30 p.m. about to drive to East Midlands Airport to get to my hotel where I'm staying for the night because I've got an early flight in the morning to go on another solo holiday. Anyway. Um, I look real ugly right now, but we're not going to talk about that. I was out in London last night at Ed Sheeran, which was amazing, but I got home this afternoon um, after being up really late and the clocks went forward or back or whichever one and I lost like an hour's sleep and I'm just not feeling too good. Yeah, let's drive to the hotel. I just got to my hotel. It was like an hour and a half drive. I hate driving where I don't know where I'm going and there's roundabouts with like 10 million lanes. Here at the Radisson, but that is because it was the cheapest one. It was like 84 pounds and I only booked it the other night. So buzz in. Let's go inside and check out my room. Um, Where is the entrance? This room is so nice. <sighs> Stop looking at how dirty my socks are. Honestly, this is the life I want to live. I just want to live in luxury all of the time. Good night. I'm going to give you a little room tour. So here is the room. I've got a little view. It's quite cute. And then the bed, which I've just messed up, but it's so big. I've got a little telly. It's so fitting. Got my Asda Smart Price 50p water in this fancy room. I need some Fiji water. This is the bathroom. Hello. Oh, I've got such a headache. That shower is nice. I'm filming this all on my phone, by the way, because I didn't want to bring my big camera with me. So hopefully it's all right, because it's a Pro Max. So fingers crossed. This bed is so comfy. I really am living in luxury. So I'm just watching the chase and yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go to sleep now. So I will see you in the morning when we're gonna go on the aeroplane all of the way to Portugal. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'll see you bright and breezy. Good morning. I woke up like five times in the night. I probably got about two hours sleep. So I should have just stayed at home and got up at 3 a.m. I probably would have been less sleep deprived. I'm gonna get dressed. I'm actually running a little bit late. It's 5.15 right now and I need to be at the airport for 5.40. So Let's go on a solo holiday. I'm ready to go and check out. I've just had a message from Jet2 saying that there's industrial action by French air traffic control. So it's probably going to disrupt all of the flights today. No, I'm feeling delirious and I'm also feeling stressed by that information. Let's go. Checked out, just got back in my car because I need to go and find the airport parking. Oh my God, I can literally see my breath. Let's go and find it. Hopefully it's easy and yeah. So I've just parked my car into a tiny space thinking there was no spaces and now I'm looking and there's loads of spaces. I've just got to walk to the terminal. It's freezing cold. I just want to be in my house, in my actual warm, cosy bed. You've got to live life and you've got to do things that scare you. So that's why we're doing this. Checked in, just going to go through security now. I'm just going to find my gate. I've just had some breakfast. I've got a water, but it cost me £2.70. So I've been robbed. We looked at you really strange when you do this in public. Just on the plane, um, I'm gonna get my iPad out. I've downloaded loads of Netflix shows, so I'm just gonna watch them. Oxygen masks, how to use the life jackets. Arrived at Portugal Airport, go and go through like passport control and go get bags. Never ever been here before, so I have my case. It didn't get lost, that's always my biggest fear. I'm just gonna go and try and find where my transfer is. It is so warm and sunny already, and it's only like 10 a.m. Back in the room, we're in the hotel, we've made it. A room tour? Okay, I'll show you. So we've got a nice telly and then a nice big bed. Glad I'm not sharing the room with my mum um, because that's the shower, right? It's very see-through. And then, yeah, this is a little bathroom, a little mirror. Hello. I think this is really cute, to be honest. Very modern, very clean. Um, and I'm all inclusive, baby. This is where I realise how unprepared I am. Shorts, I haven't even ironed them. Nothing matches. I literally just shoved a load of stuff in my case and just set off. But that's the way to live. You go grab some food um, quickly and then go and get my tan on. I just want to be tanned. So yeah, um, come with me to go get some lunch. Oh, exciting. Probably just going to eat pizza and bread. So I've just come for lunch. I'll show you what I've got. Pizza, some eggs, some peppers, some butter, some bread and some lasagna. Fresh orange juice. So yeah. And for dessert, we've got chocolate cake and pineapple. I think I'm just going to go and sit by the pool. It's like 24 degrees, but it feels, feels kind of cold. 
don't know if he swims sat like inside though and the sun's not on me. It's so warm. It's like 5 30. I've been at the pool for ages um, but I actually fell asleep. Someone tried to get me to do aqua size so I had a nap instead and that's I fell asleep for ages so I bet I was snoring too. I'm gonna go back to the room now and have a shower and then I'm gonna get some dinner and slap myself in the face to wake myself up because I'm exhausted. It's so sunny here like just lovely so i'm back in my room i have a shower and go for some dinner and i get ready i don't know whether to put any makeup on this is my last solo holiday like i really liked it you love being away on my own this hotel i'm not giving the same vibes as the last one like it's not as i'd say it's not as friendly and i don't see anyone else that's on their own the problem is that it's a smaller hotel only like a few floors so like when you're eating, it's a small, really small area. You see everyone else is in couples or families. It's just me. Whereas at the last one, it was massive. So like when you ate, it was this massive room. So just nobody cared, nobody looked at you, but here they do. You know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it. It feels a bit, a bit more intimate. And I'd like to just go unnoticed. I've got a glass of Coca-Cola. I've been off alcohol ever since I got Polly in Mexico. Ever since I got my really bad food poisoning. I'm probably going to need to drink here. <laughs> We're gonna have a drink with my dinner, but I'll see. I'm going for a shower. I've just had my shower. It's nearly 9 p.m. I'm hoping they're still serving food. I'm distracted because I'm planning my sister's hen do, so I've been sorting stuff for that and scrolling through Etsy. And now <sighs> I'm late, so no makeup for me tonight. I'm just gonna put some shorts on and a top. I tell you that I really did just throw stuff in a bag because I wasn't prepared. I was not lying. <sighs> This is my outfit, can you see it? Uh, I forgot to bring a cardigan. So the only cardigan I have is the one that I travelled in. And that is this one. Is it gonna match? I'm gonna cry. I'll just starve. I'll just starve. I've got chips, cheese, smarties, bread, cucumber, peppers, rice, hash browns. There are flies everywhere. One was just my bit of cheese that was crawling all over my table and honestly I'm a bit freaked out by it, so I don't think I'm gonna eat it. Options either like just fish. In a way, I've got wine as well, so it's not all bad. Guys, I can't cope. Only two dessert options, um, and this is me. I'm so hungry. The last place I stayed at was literally so good as well. I'm so sad. Goodness me, that was not a fun experience. Let me tell you something. I am not a snob grew up eating hot dogs and smart price fish fingers but that food is disgusting <laughs> such a tiny amount of food no selection there was literally seafood there was only mushy desserts and then there was just a pile of fruit on the side some tomato rice some plain pasta and tomato sauce or high fish who wants to eat fish they really do but and then, like, walking into this place on my own, the vibe here is just not what the vibe was at the other place. All of these people, like, I'm not saying all of them, because obviously some of them are, are going to be lovely, but, like, there was a couple behind me, and they were just, like, looking at me like this. And I was like, I kept looking, thinking, Sh am I just imagining it? And then I was like, no, they're actually looking at me like that. Just no one's, like, friendly, like, no one smiles at you. Like, obviously you can see I'm on my own. I don't want to, like, hang out with people, but... You know, just if you look at me, smile at me. They just like think it's weird that I'm on my own. Why am I about to cry? Cry. I just like nice people. I like nice vibes and nice energy. I don't care about anything else. I just want nice energy. And also I want a decent amount of food because I can't cope without food. It's like flies on my food. I know that can't be helped, but at the same time, it just makes me feel sick. <sighs> I get it, I'm in Portugal, so I, I'm not mad, I just think if there was maybe like an English menu, like a little bit, just so I could understand how to change it, because it's all in Portuguese. I don't speak any Portuguese. A little Spanish, poquito, espanol. 
yeah hardly any um right okay so i've managed to find a channel that is english um it's disney channel so i'm watching disney channel i'm gonna go to sleep in a second uh thank you for spending the day with me for the video tomorrow night as long as you like it like as long as you want another video tomorrow so if you have enjoyed it just give it a thumbs up subscribe comment whatever um just so i know see you in the morning